brought to you by Covered California. In tonight's health news, it's an issue that affects between one third and half of all Americans. We're talking about poor sleep and insomnia, and there are products out there that may help end those sleepless nights, but they can have side effects that are problematic as well. So to break it all down here with me now is Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD. Thank you for joining us once again. Good to be here. Well, it's a perfect time of year to talk about the turkey naps. Uh, we generally don't have too many problems sleeping, at least on Thanksgiving Day. True true but you know it's not due to the turkey chicken has more tryptophan or sleep inducing chemicals than turkey does the reason we sleep so much on thanksgiving day is because we're eating too much and we're drinking too much so that's the reason it has nothing to do with the turkey all right so he debunked the myth of the turkey <laughs> nap for us today well let's talk about the two types of insomnia there is acute and chronic how can you tell if your general sleeplessness rises to the level of these kinds of insomnia in episodes yeah well acute insomnia can occur to anyone it's usually after stressful events whether it's physical or emotional you know you may not be able to sleep you're going to be thinking about work chronic insomnia is when it starts occurring sort of every day and it becomes more and more and you know on a previous episode we were talking that most people need about eight hours of sleep and so if you're only getting four or five hours of sleep every night it's going to keep building up and that's what ends up causing a problem so what are some of the possible causes then if you're having difficulty sleeping there are a number of different causes there are real medical causes like hypothyroidism sleep apnea restless leg syndromes even heartburn can do it, chronic pain syndromes. But you know, the most common one is really stress. And it's either stress in your family life, personal life, or stress at work, where you just can't get your mind off of something. Well, can I toss in hormones for women? Is that possible? Because we certainly hear about insomnia being related to menopausal and perimenopausal women. It really does, especially with hot flashes. You know, when women sweat a lot during the night, at, at certain times, that's gonna cause a sleep deprivation as well, or wake you up from sleep. So it's one thing to get a good night's sleep. It's the other thing to be woken up continuously during sleep. Either it's a crying baby, or when you're menopausal, it could be hot flashes. Let's talk about sleep aids, because it certainly seems to be a growing industry when we talk about sleeping pills, but there are definite symptoms that you could be becoming addicted by trying to get a good night's sleep through some of these medications. Yes, there are a number of different medications medications from the benzodiazepines like the Valium and Lorazepam to the ones that we know mostly we call them the Z pills it's like the Ambien the Sonata the Lunesta now those types of uh, sleeping aids actually act on what are called GABA receptors and about 4% of the US population takes prescription sleeping aids the problem is if you take them every night you can get addicted to them and signs of addiction could be things like you get very anxious you have sometimes difficulty breathing Thing, you have upset stomachs um, and you can get paranoia sometimes if you're doing those at benzodiazepine types you can have mood swings and confusion sleepwalking so there's other things that can happen and that's why when your doctor does prescribe a sleeping aid for you it's not meant to take the rest of your life it's to take it only for that period of time for a week or two until your sleep gets back to normal now there's other things that we can take more of the over-the-counter medicines and the most common ones contain things like uh, Benadryl which is an antihistamine that helps us to go to sleep but other ones that people take contain melatonin and melatonin is a natural occurring hormone where if you take it it get it reestablishes what's called your circadian rhythm but you know the most common reason I think especially in our teenagers is that they don't set up the right mood to go to sleep mm -hmm. you know how many of us are always using our iPads or on our cell phones or watching TV and that just it doesn't set the right mood to go to sleep All so right. you've got to really set it up put away those devices you know put away the TV get your uh, room to be quiet soft and that's when you'll go to sleep. All right, and we'll have to leave it on that note. We're out of time, but uh, there's plenty of time to try and uh, set up for a successful night. Day one is tonight. Thanks so much, Dr. G. We'll Great see you next Tuesday and have